Hi, welcome to this video on how to sort and organize your data in Biggin. In this video, I will be taking you through the following topics to help you work effortlessly with your data in Biggin. Categorizing deals by stage, working with data in the pipeline view, using the list view, using public views and custom views, and performing bulk actions in views. Before we begin, let's take a look at some frequently used terms that will be used in this video. Modules. Data in your Biggin account is grouped into categories. These categories are called modules, and they include contacts, companies, deals, products, and activities. Records. The entries in the modules are known as records. For example, each contact in the contacts module is a record. Pipeline. A pipeline is a series of stages which each deal in your business must pass through to progress towards closure. These stages help you convert a prospect into a customer. Views. Views in a module provide you with ways to sort, categorize, and view your records. We have two views in Biggin, the pipeline view and the list view. The deals module in Biggin has an exclusive view called the pipeline view. This view comes in handy when you specifically want to view deals categorized by their stage. Each column here is a stage in your sales pipeline. You can sort the records by choosing a field here and then sort them in ascending or descending order. The pipeline view has a range of options that are mainly aimed at providing a simple, useful way to work with your deals. The best part about the pipeline view is that you don't have to open the settings to add a new stage or reorder the stages, and you don't have to open a record to change its stage. For instance, to change the stage of a deal, simply drag the deal to the desired stage, and there you go. The record is moved to the new stage. To move any record to the recycle bin, drag the record and drop it in the delete bucket. You can also minimize a column like this and expand it when needed for a better view of the important stages that you work with the most often. You can also resize the columns to squeeze more into a single view. Next, let us see how you can change the order of the stages in your pipeline from the pipeline view itself. Drag and drop the stage like this. And finally, you can also add a stage to your pipeline from this view. Let's say you want to add the negotiation stage after quotation sent. Simply click the More icon and select the New Stage option. Enter the stage name and click Save. Now that we have learned about the pipeline view, let's move on to the list view, which is available in every module. In this view, rows and columns in a module are displayed as a list, which is why we call it the list view. The rows here represent the records, and the columns here are the fields. You can customize the list view to display the columns that you need to see. Click the plus icon here and select the columns that you want to show. To sort the records in ascending or descending order, Click the arrows in the column here. The list view also has a bonus feature, contextual stats at the bottom of each module list view. These stats provide important information about the data in the module at a glance. For the deals module, it displays the total number of records, open deals, and deals won and lost. They are dynamic, and when you click on one of the stats, you can pull up the records matching that criteria. The stats vary for each module and are available in the Contacts, Companies, and Activities modules. Biggin offers a set of default views that display records from each module based on predefined criteria. For example, 
there is a view in the context module called New This Week. This default view will show you all of the contacts were added this week. You can find this view and more like it under the Public Views option. These views cannot be customized, but Biggin does allow you to create your own views. Let's create one right now for the context module. Let's say my team just completed a successful campaign and would like to view all of the prospects in the United States. We can name it as Contacts from the US. The criteria can be mailing country is United States, comma, US, comma, USA. Next, choose the columns that you would like to see in your list view. Any number of fields can be added to help you get a quick glance at the essential details of the records. And this final option can also be used to define who can access the list view that you create. Just you, all of the users in your Biggin account, or selected users. And there you go, your very own custom view is created. If you want to add more columns, simply edit the view from here. Once multiple views have been created in your organization by other users, you can switch between the default view, the ones created by you, and also the views shared with you by other users. Now, the next question that you might have is what else can I do with the records in these views? You can perform bulk actions on the records in these views. Bulk actions let you perform the same action on multiple records at once. Simply select the records in a view and you will be shown the actions that can be carried out. For instance, you can send a welcome email to all of the contacts that have been added this week. Select the New This Week view and then select all of the records. Now, click Send Email. You can either draft the email here or choose an existing template for this module to send. With bulk actions, you can also apply tags, update a specific field's value, and delete or export a group of records at once. If one of the sales reps in your team is on an unexpected leave, for instance, you can quickly transfer all of their records to another team member with the Change Owner option. While changing the ownership, you can also transfer ownership for all of the open activities in the selected records as well. So that is how you can work effortlessly with the data in your Biggin account. Thank you for watching this video.